Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It is episode 84. It's time to launch the flashpoint. There we go. I was like, why? Where is it? There it is. We're a bit far inside enemy territory. The operation I'm about to propose is delicate. Preparing a large scale offensive along the Capellan border. Holy shit. Okay. Okay. Our ultimate target is the regional CCAF commander, Lieutenant Colonel Yanis Song. Okay, let's go. You're not allowed to drop eight units, only four. Okay, only four it is. Not yet. He's not yet fully ready. I was just thinking about his lack of uh, six twenty four salvage. That's crazy. His lack of piloting skill. Um. Do light my Hollander. Let's take fire support. It's just a little bit of a shame that he hasn't got 10 piloting yet. But that is a very powerful mech. Let's go! I wonder if, how much this is going to be like the base game. If you're limited to four mechs, then this potentially is going to be just much like a base game mission. But all flashpoints are editable. So BTA may have done something to make it harder. I've never played this flashpoint before, so I just I don't know what it's going to be like. Or what it should be like. Command interface initiated. Okay. It's 
the death commandos again. A volcano is going off on this planet. This is insane. What the hell does that do? Volcanic ash obscures vision and sensor range by 35%. Additionally, ash is also superheated and generates 10 bonus heat on all units per turn. As well as reducing heat sinking by 20%. And there's a plus 2 attack penalty as well. My... Mine got. If there's plus 10 heat for everybody, doesn't that mean turrets and tanks are just going to take 10 damage every turn until they die? Crazy for thinking that. Waiting for orders. Does that does that li is that literally the truth? Sensors locked on. A heavy thunderbolt turret. Okay. We can definitely expect some non-base game units then, because there's no Thunderbolt in the base game. Standing by. Roger. Even if every missile hit, I would not destroy that, sadly. Yeah? Bugging out. Still. Thunderbolts are splash, right? So let's, uh... Let's quickly be sure to pick this one off. What do you need? Acknowledged. I love it when they just... They just sit there. Reserving action. Because they haven't detected you. I may literally yep. be able to just sit here and sensor lock these and just shoot them. I've got a sensor lock. 69 and 12. Waiting. I need order. to fire two launchers to get that. 80 is the most damage from a single. Alright, it's one down. Turret destroyed. I really should redesign this Orion at some point. Mess him up. Mess him up good. Reducing sensor range so that the AI doesn't detect you, I think, actually breaks Ready the AI. Order. Oops, not precision strike, sensor lock. And Osterok. Ready to get it on. Engaging target. Give them everything you've got. Holding for the right opportunity. Wow, this uh, the, this environmental condition, Order. I think, is uh. Orders. It just breaks the AI. Got a lock. What's up, boss? Well, I can't abuse this forever because I, I have a limited number of missiles, so... Acknowledged. Let's hit him hard. We can 
certainly have used right this move. to pick off. Commander. Pick off a few bits and pieces, but then we're gonna have to concern ourselves with fighting up straight up. Because these missiles are not infinite. Tell you what, I mean, active volcano going off is certainly a new one on me. What's up, boss? Combat mode has ended because none of the other enemies are alerted. Got it. Standing by. Which, on of course, my way. is silly. Roger. wondering if there's a high ground position for my Orion. I guess here. Position confirmed. Let's go. Reserving action. Holding for the right opportunity. Standing by. Got a sensor lock. Another heavy thunderbolt turret. Yeah. Can you imagine the opposite? Clear weather and that. being shot at by Digging these it. relentlessly. Damage. Cool. Oh, does he see me? Guess so. Is that a nuke? God damn. Let's do this. Aye aye, reserving action. I wonder how much he's going to overheat in that fire, considering he's already overheating. If my if my missile fire support explodes, I'm dead, so waiting for the shot. Ready for orders. Does he have like the emergency vent? According to this, I'm not going to overheat. from being on fire. Let's just brace it away. And another 10 because of the, the volcano. Receiving you. Hmm. I don't want to close in on them yet. They can come to me if they like. What do you need? Receiving you. Show me your war face. There's a lot of turrets there. Copy that. We haven't Hold faced turrets right very much in this, but they have always had just ass loads of long range weapons. So I think since I have the opportunity 
Waiting for the right move. It's worth. Um, picking them off. With the Orion. It's not like my uh, lights can really rumble them anyway. Got something you want done? No, that's not how it works. Oh wow, we're still late. We're still cooking away here. Thirty-six of one fifty. PPC yep. one, my uh, PPC boat. All right, full speed. Then again, with this, with these conditions, it would probably overheat. Good to go. As well. Let's move. But I mean, this Orion's got double heat sinks. If it's not firing, it should be cooling like sixty plus heat. It's also got that trait where it's friggin' got another twelve heat sinking. for the right opportunity. Waiting for the right move. Aye, aye. Holding. Good to go. Got a lock. Alright, time to die, heavy thunderbolt turret. Yes, Commander. They obviously can't see me, so I'm not going to maneuver around too much. Man, even after doing a coolant flush, I can't launch two sets without an overheat alert. Locking on target. A Vulcan! That's nothing exciting. Aye, aye. Your mech is on fire! I copy. What do you need? Hey, watch the paint, pal. Ah, damn. Let's do this. Okay, I think this mech is no longer on fire. Order? I copy. Okay, I don't think he sees me. What's up, boss? He did not see me. Why couldn't he see me? Contacts, Commander. You need to secure the area before you can proceed. Oh, an Arrow 4 artillery turret.
All or nothing. On it. Let's go. That turret is gone. Six evasion. Copy that. Archer missile spam. This shouldn't be too difficult to deal with. Good to go. I'm just stuck in burning terrain here. Roger that. Just gonna fire one. She's running too hot. I gotta shut her down. Wow, I fire I just launched one and that was it. Minimal damage on that hit. How much heat was stacked in that one turn? The e cooling system was crit. Oh, that counted as an engine crit. So now it's going to get even hotter. Commander. Reserving action. Oof. Artillery. Holding for the right opportunity. Roger. Wow, I'm going to overheat if I fire at all. Yes, Commander. This is insane. The Dervish may be the only mech able, able to do anything. Streaks don't use a lot of heat to fire. Receiving you. Uh, yeah, you had better vent again. Wow, even even the emergency vent left me with an almost full heat bar after that. Orders? That is crazy. Destroyed. Ready for orders. I don't think I can move through this fire because I think it's going to. I guess it stacks. It's the only explanation as to why there's so much heat damage. Off. I'm receiving
receiving an overheat alert for firing more than one launcher. That didn't hit. That's crazy. Yeah. Got it. You know what the answer is going to be is to punch him. Is to literally punch him to death. Hopefully we're done being spammed with heat missiles. Ow. I think that's just plain old damage Losing though. Lots of us. Let's hit him hard. I think that's just plain old run-of-the-mill garden damage. Holding for the right opportunity. Man, bring the old plasma guns to this fight. People will explode. Aye, aye. Hollander's keeping its cool. Oh man, all this damage that the Hollander has taken from that artillery shell was like... It's bashed the rear torso quite badly. On the move, full speed. I think we just need to keep fighting here. Walking on target. Let's hope that the Orion can actually offer some missile support in the near future. Here we go. Standing by. Understood. Moving fast. Okay, some hits. I think we're just gonna have to punch him to death. It's the only way. But I need to do something about this artillery piece. Light damage, Commander. I don't know if these enemy mechs are specially designed for this mission, because they don't seem to be suffering with the heat as much as I am. I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Got it. Waiting for my opening. Full speed. Run, Hollander, run! This heat is cooking my internal structure. I'm generating a lot of heat, Commander. What would you like me to do about that? I'm here. Acknowledge. This guy's running away. Here we go. Just want to punch him. 
see if the Orion is able to launch. Yes, Commander. Not even one pack. The mech is still on fire. Mech warriors, show them what you got. This vehicle should be, like, close to dead by now. I've noticed here that their turrets and vehicles I don't think are taking any damage. They should do. Vehicles and turrets are not allowed to take heat damage. When they take heat damage, it's converted into, into actual damage. So, as per the normal rules of the game, if you're taking 10, damage, 10 heat go. damage per turn, and you're a vehicle or a turret, Yes, Commander. Then, um... You are, uh... Let's move. You're, you're taking that, you're taking that as hull damage. Okay, well... His rear armor is super tough, so we should be fine. Waiting for the right move. All right. It looks like we finally shed the heat damage. Die. Hell yeah. One less turret. I hate that noise. That's the AC2 noise. Uh, not the AC2 noise. The AC20 noise. When it's fired at my rear quadrant, I'm not a fan. Can I get there without... Can I get there without touching the flame? Attacking from position. Scored a critical hit. My heat sinks can't take much more of this. Okay, that was not marked as an overheat. Might just be right on the boundary. Yes, Commander. Engaging jump jet. Time to die. Okay, they should no longer be able to see me. Good. The turrets are down, that just leaves a tank and an archer who's been firing missiles non-stop, so he's probably running low on, on missiles by now. We can cross the reinforcement bridge when we come to it. They're probably still hobbling damn, from over here somewhere. Now my real question is, why is this tank not taking damage? If he's taking heat damage of 10 per turn, that should be coming out of his structure. Vehicles cannot vent heat. If they take heat damage, it's converted to physical Reserving damage. Action. Or it should be. I mean, he just drove through the fire there as well. 
and he's not on fire. I am not a fan when units don't follow the rules in games to make them more challenging. Standing by. No shooting, just running. The volcano has certainly been spicy to play against, but it should not be some kind of Maleficent Copy volcano that. that only targets me. It should have been having a profound effect on the vehicles and turrets. Did he just nail his own guy in the back? Or did I just take that hit? Damage minimal. Okay, I took the hit. I think he's getting hot. Orders. Did he just hit his own guy there? I'm showing minor damage. Nope, I got hit again. Not much, but a little bit. Receiving you. Why is this area that is actually burnt down still showing as being on fire? It's not on fire. Aye, aye. chance to launch missiles, I'll launch again. I can only hope that these guys do not account for the volcano heat and, and nuke themselves. Roger that. Stand Although by. they may also be immune. I don't know if this mission's specially designed and that these guys are not affected by the heat. I mean, he just fired two ER PPCs at me and didn't... didn't take any heat there. Or at least not particularly. Waiting for orders. funniest part about it all is that the dervish is not even a hot mech. 
it's actually grossly overcooled. It's just that, you know, I'm using missiles, so there wasn't really any particular reason to... Ready for orders. Like, it's, it's, it's double heat-synced, and, you know, 24 SRMs are not really enough to overwhelm that. I'm here. What am I looking at? We've got a Marauder of the Pulsey variety. Maybe I can get some of them to turn around. So I can put Orion missile racks in the back. This archer down here. It was an archer, wasn't it? I'm pretty sure it's an archer. Give up everything um, you've got. He must be running low on missiles by now. Roger. It's night we're nineteen rounds in. I'm sure he is starting to run low at this point. Armor holding. Confirmed. They don't seem to be under stress from the from the terrain. I'm waiting at all. for the right move. I mean, I just feel like I'm being shot at every turn, and I'm not really seeing them struggling with the heat management of side of it. Where's the frontal armor on that light? Do you know what? 920 armor is not a lot for a mech that can't move. I may just try and punch through the front of it while I maneuver around these guys. But, we're out of time. So that is it for now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys next time.